This week's Why We're Single, talking about games that mess with our head, and I've talked about this game a little bit before, but System Shock 2. Just Shodan's voice, just like always in my head, just look at you, hacker. Look at you, hacker. He's got that weird high-low thing going on. It's like slightly sensual, but also frightening, so you're a little confused. Your PP moves a little bit and you don't know why. You can cut that out. Uh, anyway, that game was super frightening, and in addition to having those weird hulking like zombie creatures that were like going around the ship, they also just had like the ghosts of crewmates that had died before or whatever, and you weren't sure if it was like a weird AI trick or if there were actually ghosts on the ship or if there's like a cybernetic implant that's causing you to to like get all messed up. And it was it was one of the only games I can think of that like realized that the game was super disturbing. So they added a way for you to get away from it all with like a little PDA that had games on it. It's like, oh, this is way too intense, PDA! And now I can like play Pong or whatever. Yeah, that game gave me nightmares as a child. System Shock 2. Play it now if you're an adult, but if you're still young, I'd stick, stay away from it if you don't want to have bad dreams. I think the obvious one here is uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, specifically, uh, and let's go spoiler alert, if you want to click away, do it now, because I'm going to do spoilers. At the end of the game, uh, the game starts messing with you, and it starts doing, like, the mission failed screen, and it, it'll be like, you failed, but you didn't die or anything, and you're like, what the f I, Why is this screen coming up? And it'll say, like, it'll, but it'll be messed up. It'll say, like, fish and mailed, and then, like, uh, you, you'll still be playing in the corner. It'll, like, reduce the screen to the corner, and you'll still have to play through the mission failed screen, and then, like, other characters will start calling you and being like, hey, why don't you stop playing that game and go out and be in the sun for a little bit or something. And you're like, what, what, stop, you're not my mom, game. And it'll be trying to mess with you, it's really great. I know a lot of people out there didn't like uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 because he plays Raiden instead of Snake and stuff, but I liked it and uh, the messing with your head at the end and really trying to get you to stop playing the game by giving you all those screams was awesome. I can't get into this franchise at all. I don't like the Assassin's Creed franchise because it messed with my head a little bit. Uh, maybe not that difficult for, for a franchise to do, but hey, I'm playing, I didn't play the first Assassin's Creed, but I'm playing Revelations, I'm like, hey, this game is actually pretty cool, I like the combat now, the missions are pretty awesome. I got through the entire game, and then I, at the end, you, you do like the final assassination in the guy, like in the church or something, then you go underneath, and then all of a sudden, it just turns into this weird sci-fi movie. Now don't get me wrong, like I understand the premise where you're in the future and you're going back in time with virtual reality, that's cool. I, I can get behind that. That makes sense. But like all of a sudden, it's like this out, like astral being and like this egg. Uh, and I'm like, what? What do you do? You completely just jumped a shark here. Why are we going this far out of left field? I don't like why. Why are there so many questions? Why am I picking up like these weird items throughout the entire map that like plays out like a tiny, tiny like snippet at a time? And you're like, what does that mean? It was half a second of a kid jumping. What does it mean? What does this mean? What does it mean? I don't get it. Like, why would they go through and have such a like a level, like story that was that was in depth and was talking about like this would happen here and it affects the future. That's cool. But now, hey, that's had aliens and shit. no, stop it. Another game that messed with my head different way, but it still hurt my brain was Portal, Portal One and Portal Two. Uh, I was not very good when I started out at thinking with portals. It was very difficult for me. I had to have someone like help me with the very first puzzle where it's like, first you shoot the portal there, and then up there, and then you jump down into it off the ledge and it shoots you out. And then you have to shoot as you're falling another portal to launch you even further. And like thinking about how to do the different portal puzzles. I mean, you saw it in our game bang where we were just raging, me and Ian, because it was so hard to figure out the damn puzzle because there's so many brain bending things that you have to think about. And I mean, poor Joven sitting over, all I can do is say portal. Portal. <laughs> because the game messes with your head. You, you have no idea how it's like you're here and the goal's there and there's no foreseeable way to make yourself go from there to the other side without doing some weird messed up that no one's ever thought of except for like Albert Einstein or some sh I don't know. I'm just talking at this point. Portal. And then Bioshock. Uh, spoiler alert again! If you haven't beaten Bioshock by now though, what are you doing? The the revelation, man, that you have been being manipulated this whole time, and that phrase, would you kindly, and you have that moment where Andrew Ryan's explaining to you that you're like a tool and 
You're like, no, I'm not. I've made all these decisions myself. And he's like, would you kindly? And you're like, no, it's the would you kindly. The way he's been controlling me this whole time. And you're like, I'm not going to do what you tell me to do, but you have to because it's the game. And it was a really mess with your head moment because it made you like contemplate freedom of choice and if it actually exists at all or not. It was weird. Now, fun story. Uh, a game that really messed with my head was Arkham Asylum. The first Batman game was so good. And Scarecrow, awesome. But there was a moment where, for those of you who played the game, you remember, it's like you're playing through and you think everything's okay, and then all of a sudden, like, your screen just, like, glitches out. And for me, I was like, da 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 I'm winning! Oh, fuck! And I just turned off my power immediately because I didn't want, like, the file to get corrupted or something. Because I saw the glitch happen, I was like, turn off the power! Because that, that's what you do when a computer glitches. Maybe that's why my computers are always broken. If something goes wrong, I just immediately try to turn it off. Anyways, I turn it back on, and I load in, and I'm like, all right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. All right. The game's still here. All right. Last checkpoint. Playing through. All right. I'm winning. I'm winning. Screen glitch. What the f But this time I wait. I'm like, all right. Just, I'm pissed. I'm just about to throw my controller. And then, like, it goes back to the, the beginning of the game. Like, it's the opening cutscene. And then I'm like, hey, I should have turned off the console. I just lost all of my progress. All of my game progress. And all of a sudden, that's the Batmobile going up to Arkham. I'm like, oh, well, f All right. I'll play Batman again. This is cool. But then all of a sudden, it's, it's Joker bringing in Batman, and then instead of the Doctor, it's the Scarecrow, and I'm like, oh, this is awesome. Well played. Good job, Rocksteady. You win. Was, it fooled me. I'm gullible. But it was impressive. I liked it. I'm easily entertained. Don't need much. Maybe that's why I'm single. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I know those games mess with our heads, but you know what didn't mess with our heads? Our favorite team, which we talked about on last week's Why We're Single. I know it's a terrible segue, but it doesn't matter. You should go watch it anyway. Also, be sure to check out Laserporn with a huge drinking problem on the last episode of 16-Bit High.